Hello, good afternoon and welcome to the MF Corner. I'm Ekta Batra and with me is Manglam Malu this afternoon. Well, every Tuesday and Thursday, we answer all of your mutual fund queries and equip you to create wealth by benefiting from the magic of compounding. Hi, Manglam. Hi, Ekta. You know, uh, that is as far as the long-term investment goals in the mutual funds are concerned. But just for today, we're drifting lower at the low point of the day as far as our markets are concerned, all the frontline indices. And currently, a lot of the stocks which are taking it on the chin, we have the likes of metal stocks. Of course, they've been under pressure all through the course of the day. Now, Bharti Airtel, Lupin, as well as uh, uh, India Bulls Housing Finance too, is losing some steam. The mid-cap index too, lower by about three quarters of a percent. So we are at the low point of the day. We will keep an eye out on individual stocks and the market moves. But first up, all the top stories. Then we get on to answering all your mutual fund related queries. Global risk off drags the market. The Sensex and the Nifty are near the low point of the day, down over three quarters of a percent each. The mid caps too fall in line. The RBI board decides to set up an expert committee to examine its capital reserves. Government and RBI will jointly determine the members and terms of this committee, liquidity and governance issues to be taken up at the next meeting on the 14th of December. The market welcomes the diffusion of tension between the government and the RBI. The rupee jumps today to a two-month high. Bonds gain as well. Yes, bank reels under pressure as the board sees its third resignation in a week. Sources tell CNBC TV18 that discomfort over handling a recent of recent developments at the bank led to R. Chandrasekhar uh, his resignation. Public sector banks like Punjab National Bank, Union Bank and Bank of India to benefit from reduced capital requirements, while NBFCs, they struggle in trade as no special line of credit has been provided for them in the Reserve Bank of India's board meet. Okay, well, joining us uh, today, we have Feroz Aziz of Anand Rati to answer all of your mutual fund queries. So we're going to get going on that. Uh, well, um, before that, in fact, it is turning out to be actually quite a weak day for the market. So do watch out for a couple of stocks such as Yes Bank, which is now at the low point of the day, down around 5.8%, and DHFL, which was managing to actually be in the uh, green for most of the time, has actually slipped into the red. So that stock is down around 4 odd percent at this point. India Bulls Housing also for suit so some of those usual suspects of the last couple of weeks are seeing that little bit of profit booking and pressure in today's trade in fact India Bulls housing finance just at the cusp of 700 rupees for that stock um, okay well let's get going in terms of all of the queries that we have on our mutual fund show uh, Binaya Sahu calls us from Hyderabad he wants advice on access 25 focus growth mutual fund uh, Binaya hi Hi, good afternoon. Uh, actually, uh, I already invested in 25 Focus Mutual Fund, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to know uh, whether I should continue in that, actually. Uh, actually, I'm in a negative return right now. Okay. All right. Feroz, what would you recommend on that? Because Manai has already um, invested in Access 25 and um, is asking whether or not what they should do, what he should do going forward. Negative Benaya, returns. Manai, is that the only fund you have? Ah, yes, sir. that is the only fund I have. Okay. So ideally, when you are having one fund, you should not go in for a focused kind of a category. You should go into a large cap fund if that's your only fund. Now that you're in the focused fund, uh, Access is a good fund house. They've delivered uh, superior returns. Of course, the markets have been a little bad is why you are, your returns would be negative. I think you can hold on to the fund. It has the largest sectors banking. Uh, I think it has a well diversified portfolio across different sectors, but only uh, 23 or 25 stocks in the portfolio. So I think it's a focused category. It will be marginally high on risk. The next fund you add should be from a large cap category and I'll also or a multi cap category. I'll recommend a fund. Uh, Mirai Asset India Equity Fund would be a better fund, more stable. Uh, but yeah, this fund isn't bad. So you can hang on till you recover your capital from this. And then may you may want to relook at the strategy and create a whole round uh, kind of a process rather than picking up products, make a portfolio for yourself. Mirai, I hope uh, that answers your query. In fact, I'll ask a follow-up to Firoz on that itself. You know, Firoz, for a lot of the people who invest in mutual funds, exit is is the big question because a lot of people ask about entry. Okay, this is the kind of money I put in this fund. Uh, spate of negative returns, you exit, or after some positive returns, you exit. What is the exit strategy? See, the exit strategy has to be point one. If there is a structural change, okay. if there's a fund manager changing, then definitely you will have to make a change. Mm -hmm. uh, if there is an objective of the scheme changing, which 
happens quite a few times. Of course, because of new regulations, there is a large change in the uh, in the in the objective of the scheme. The third reason is not just performance, relative performance. Okay. When you see negative return, you have to see in the similar period if the markets or Nifty representing the markets has done bad badly as well. And if you have still beaten Nifty, then you stay on. So relative return is a better benchmark for an exit strategy. Consistent one year negative relative return, mm -hmm. relative by which I mean in comparison to what the market has done is a good exit point or a trigger for me to uh, pull the plug. All right. A fair point there, uh, Firoz. Thanks a lot for that. Adds a lot of clarity. With that, we move on to Jayadurga. She calls us from Tamil Nadu. Uh, go ahead. Uh, hello, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I'm 24 years old mm -hmm. and I'm doing an SIP in four funds, investing 5,000 rupees each in Investco and your Contra fund, right. Kodak Standard Multi-Cap fund, HDFC Capital Builder fund, uh, I would like to know uh, if I can create a corpus of two crores after 20 years. Okay. Uh, I have enough time because I'm only 24, so I would uh, like for sir, to assess my portfolio. All right, you keep reminding us of our age, but uh, congratulations on starting out early. Have a goal in mind and have a fairly long-term prospective. Uh, Firoz, classic mutual fund uh, customer, classic investing customer. I think, yeah, absolutely, the, uh, desirably, because most young young people don't end up investing at uh, Jaya's age, so it's wonderful, Jaya, point one. Uh, point two is with the kind of money you're putting it, which is 5,000 rupees a month, uh, you will get to two crores uh, in about 25, 30 years, in a longish kind of for retirement, definitely you will be able to accumulate that corpus. But one disadvantage young people have is that inflation is also going to be compounding for that much longer. Uh, because if you, if you are going to retire after 40 years, the money you will need uh, during retirement is also going to be enormously high. Uh, so uh, make sure that uh, you continue your investment and increase the investment. It's not just a good start. Staying the course is what is going to determine your wealthy retirement or any other goal for that matter. Now coming to your schemes, you can continue with the two schemes, which is Access Focused Equity and Kotak Standard Multicap. Both of the schemes are being well managed. Harsh Upadhyay on the Kotak Standard Multicap side has a 65 stock portfolio, managed reasonably well. The other two fund, which is the Invesco Contra Fund, has a learning for all our viewers. Stick to the large six, seven fund houses. You don't have to go to the 10th and the 20th fund house because five, six fund houses can take care of your equity management requirement. So stick to those. And you can definitely exit out of HDFC Capital Builder. It's no more their flagship fund, which it has been. You can move to HDFC Small Cap uh, in the HDFC basket, and you can move Invesco into Mirai Asset India Equity Fund. Uh, this will be a better choice and a forced for mutual fund portfolio. Okay, all right, uh, Jaya, I hope that answers your question and keep investing considering your age where you started out so young. Well, we need to take a break with the news that uh, the Nifty is almost down close to 100 odd points and we have the Sensex which is down around 255 points at this point in time. So there's definitely some amount of incremental weakness which is seeping into the markets at current levels. Take a break but uh, focus on some more queries once we're back. Stay tuned. The low point of the day, 200 points shaved off the Nifty Bank, 150 down on the mid-cap index, about 260 down on the Sensex, 100 points off the Nifty 50 itself. Lower in uh, today's trading session, dragging the index lower is HDFC, the big heavyweight should come up for you at the low point of the day. IT stocks not doing too well, remember the rupee is at the highest level since September and there we have Vipro which is currently at the low point of the day. A sharp knock seen on Ultratech Cement, the companies informed the exchanges that Binani has now become its subsidiary, that was pretty much the case or expected unexpected lines but we're seeing a sharp sell-off on Ultratech Cement as well and the only one which is mildly holding up in the green as we speak is Bajaj Finance up by about half a percent the skin of its teeth otherwise everything pretty much at the low point of the day. Uh, at that point we get in some query we have Vinoth who's calling us from Chennai. Good afternoon Vinoth. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm a 33 year old uh, uh, professional uh, mm -hmm. new to mutual funds. Okay. I have started uh, SIP in five funds from last month. Mm -hmm. uh, Axis Blue Chip uh, 6,000, Kotak Multicap 6,000, LNT Mid Cap 8,000, mm -hmm. and uh, Reliance Small Cap and HTSC Small Cap 5,000 each. All right. I just want to know if my portfolio is fine. And also, please suggest a portfolio for my wife uh, for the same 30,000 amount as SIPs. 
All right. Uh, you are new to mutual funds. Uh, no time is too late. So congratulations on that. And Feroz, you have all his details. Do you think it's it's uh, sufficient enough for his needs and uh, the new suggestion? So I think uh, anybody who is new to mutual funds, I would generally suggest them to be very patient as people mm -hmm. because it will definitely require a larger period of time to show some degree of performance. So that's just one point for every new investor. I think it's valid. Uh, of course, you've created a very contemporary portfolio. Just one month back, you've started your SIP. It's, it's a good uh, mix of five funds with two small cap, one mid, one multi, and one large cap fund. So you're covering Vinod all the, uh, all the market capitalization, uh, which is available for you to participate in. So that's good. Uh, the funds are good, so continue your portfolio. You've also written that you, you are investing some money in Sukhanya Samriddhi Yojana, which I think is a good idea for your daughter. Uh, I think uh, for all viewers, I think Sukhanya Samriddhi Yojana definitely gives you a marginal fillip on your debt return. So you should use that platform uh, to get that extra return. And lastly, for your uh, for your wife, the portfolio of 30,000 should comprise of only three funds. Uh, Mirai Asset India Equity Fund, Canra Rebecco Emerging Equity Fund and SBI Focused Equity. Uh, all the three funds are very contemporary. So you will not need a review for the next two, two and a half years. And you can keep investing in the form of systematic investment plan. And I think it should create value for you. Okay, all right. Well, we have another query now, Feroz. Anubhav A. Mishra writes to us from Goa. He wants suggestions on which funds to invest for 70,000 rupees per month via SIPs. Just want to give a bit of a background. Uh, he's a professional, he's a doctor, and he wants to invest for 15 to 20 years, 70,000 rupees per month. And uh, he also has, I think, 5 lakh rupees lump sum, which he wants to invest. So what would you recommend? So I think uh, I think uh, it's important to start on on quantums, which are your disposable surpluses. Seventy thousand is a good corpus to start a monthly SIP plan, uh, so that uh, your retirements and other future goals are taken care of. So kudos to the amount. Uh, second is, of course, you can have four to five funds in your portfolio. Let me name you, uh, to my mind, which can which can be the four fund portfolio, which will give you the right diversification, not over, not lesser. Uh, Kotak Standard Multi Cap, uh, Reliance Large Cap, SBI Focused Equity and HDFC Small Cap. All these, uh, all these four funds have a very co complementing nature and their objectives are reasonably diverse. So you get unique stocks in your portfolio. So these uh, four uh, funds could be a good start point. Uh, whereas your five lakh rupee lump sum investment is concerned, it should get into a large cap, uh, multi cap kind of fund. Mirai Asset India Equity Fund would be good for your lump sum investment. Okay, all right, Feroz. Well, we have another query then. We have Amit who writes to us from Gujarat. He has investments in multiple funds and wants to assess his portfolio. Uh, well, if we have more details in terms of uh, what his investments are. Uh, yeah, he has investments in Axis Blue Chip and LNT Midcap and Invesco India Contra, as well as SBI Small Cap Fund and Reliance Pharma Fund. So what would you recommend? Uh, I think I think uh, the funds are good. Uh, Access Blue Chip is a good fund. LNT Midcap is a good fund. Uh, Parag Parekh Long Term Equity, which is another fund you've written to us with, uh, is a bad fund. I, I would not get into uh, an asset management company of that size, which is not managing large portions of equity because they don't have research team, which a large fund house would be able to support. Uh, Invesco Contra is an exit, in my opinion, because the fund is playing a non-momentum value kind of a strategy, uh, which I think is not good uh, at this stage of the market. It. Reliance Pharma is a sectoral fund, very well managed by Shailesh Rajpan. Uh, so I think you can continue that as well. So, uh, so one or two changes, and that's about it, Amit. All right, I hope that answers your query, Amit. Uh, meanwhile, before we slip into a short break, a couple of uh, stocks from the broader markets, they should come up for you. In fact, now the advanced decline ratio has worsened. So there are three stocks in the red for one in the green. Financials and cement stocks are the ones which are losing. So we have Ujjivan at the low point of the day, Shrey Infra at the low point of the day, DHFL at the low point of the day, along with Canfin Homes. And on the on the other hand, our ticker team tells us India Cements at the low point of the day, as well as other cement companies we spoke about, Ultratech too. Uh, thanks a lot, Feroz, uh, for joining us, taking time out and answering all our viewers' mutual fund-related query. We will answer all your mutual fund-related queries on Thursday once again. We'll take a short break, come back, we focus on more news and individual stocks.